I just found out my NAR realtor dues just went up again, $754. What does it go for? And should I pay it? Hey everyone, it's Nate McLean, and I've been in real estate for the last 15 years. I've sold over a billion dollars in real estate and I've been a realtor the entire time, but I'm really wondering, should I continue being a realtor? What benefits are they offering me? Is it actually growing my business out of the point? And if you're new in the industry, should you be a realtor? And if you're experienced, should you stay a realtor? Well, let's dive into this. I mean, $754, okay. Mm, that's not a little bit of money right now in 2023, right? I mean, sales were down in my marketplace, 25, 40%. Not personally, we, did, we had a great year, but it still hurts the pocketbook. You know, and I know a lot of agents are struggling right now and to have to pay that up front doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, do you agree with me or not? Should they plan this out a little bit better? I mean, the new year to have the dues come out? I mean, seasonality with the winter time? You just got done buying all those Christmas presents, you know, not to mention taxes are gonna be due in April and you're probably behind on them, right? Because I know, yeah, well, maybe not, you're not behind, but there's other agents that didn't make their quarterly statements or their quarterly estimates, probably have a tax bill due. And now $754. I don't know what you gotta pay, but I'm wondering what do I get for it, all right? And maybe you should be wondering the same thing, right? But back to my soapbox, why all at once? Why not a payment plan? I mean, I accidentally one time didn't pay my NAR dues and to be honest with you, it was an accident. And I got a letter and it said, if you do not pay, you are kicked out. If you do not pay, you will be fined. There was no like, hey, <laughs> easy payment plan, you know, $54 a month, let's help you with some cash flow. Because remember in real estate, you're running a business and the lifeblood of a business is the cash flow. And so, well, if we're gonna pay this money, let's just get over it. We're gonna pay the money. I'm gonna pay the money. Let's find out what you get for it. I'm gonna maximize my money. Because if you're in a business, if you pay money, you invest in something, you want a return on investment. So what's the return on investment? Okay, well, my NAR dues goes to the local dues. I like that, local. So it goes to the local office association. I like that because they have staff there, they have some resources, they offer some local trainings. I like that a lot, that's good, okay. A good portion of it goes to the national level. Okay, I like that. Um, they probably do some lobbying for us, save us on some taxes. You know, there's power in the people. There's 1.6 million agents. 1.6 million realtors, huh, that's interesting. You know what I think is interesting about 1.6 million realtors is the Realtor Association is incentivized to have as many realtors as possible. Think about the incentive structure. Do they want fewer realtors or more realtors? More. Well, I just saw something that per, per agent or per realtor productivity is at an all-time low. There's more realtors than ever. Well, that's a good thing for the Realtor Association. That's more dues. But it's a bad thing for us, right? So again, the Realtor Association, there's a lot of benefits and I'm gonna go over them, but they're not in it to make you money. They're not in it to increase your per agent productivity. You have to be in it to increase your per, per agent productivity. No one else is gonna do it for you. The Realtor Association is not gonna sell you more homes. They're not gonna give you more leads. That's not the business that they're in. So understand that right now. When you pay that $754, they're not, that money is not going somewhere to make you more sales. You have to make yourself more sales, right? You have to learn to overcome confrontation. You have to learn your scripts. You have to learn lead generation. You have to learn business practices, right? So, but, but the Realtor Association has some benefits. Let's find out. So I'm on the NAR.realtor. They didn't use .com because they got this Realtor thing. That's pretty cool. So you can go to NAR Realtor. And let's look at memberships. What do I get? What do I get for this? Logo, logo and trademark, forgot about that, right? So if you pay $754, you have the right, a licensing right to use the image realtor. That's a big thing, isn't it? Or is it? Let me hear, what do you think? What do you think? Is it a big deal to have the realtor image? Well, I could tell you this. Does the public understand what a realtor is, right? 
it's kind of like clean Kleenex, right? It's a brand. It's the brand recognition you're paying for. That's a big deal because if you can't use it, other people can. The consumer recognizes realtors, but they really don't know the difference. Now, what I would be scared of, if I was to not be a realtor, you know what I'd be scared of? I'd be scared of the other realtors calling me out for not being a realtor, right? Because one of the benefits of the Realtor Association is they have a code of ethics. And it's not just any code of ethics. It's a really good set of ethics that we all go by. And what I would be scared of if I wasn't a realtor, I'd be scared of the other realtors saying that I don't have a code of ethics, therefore I am not ethical, right? So before anyone would ever consider not being a realtor, I would have, I would personally write my own code of ethics out. I would. I would not do it on my own without my own set of code of ethics. I'd have it on my website. I'd have it on my business card. I'd have it somewhere that I live by. Right, I want a good will and reputation because the code of ethics is something important, right? So the dudes, they get you the logo. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I don't know how much value it, value it is. I've never got a phone call in 15 years saying, I'm looking for a realtor with the real part of the realtor association. Not once, not once in 5,000 sales. But I like the fact that I can say it. And I also like the fact that other people can, can't say that I'm not. I don't like that. Membership benefits. I'm looking for benefits here. Oh, here we go. Benefits. Well, they say there's a directory. Okay, so there's a network of agents or realtors across the country that I can get to know. Okay, I like that. Right? If you want to learn, you got to learn from other people. Okay, that's good. But you know there's mastermind groups and coaching programs and Facebook groups and other ways to do that too, you know. There's there's BNI groups, Business Network International, in your community. You can learn from other entrepreneurs, right? See, when we become a realtor, we become tunnel, we, we get tunnel vision. We start copying and being like everyone else because it's human nature to be want to be like everyone else because we want to fit in. We have this need to fit in. And if you want to break free of that narrow-mindedness, you need to expand your vision to other industries, right? other interests, see how they're marketing, see how they conduct business, what their client experience is like. Okay, so you can get empowered, it says. All right, I like, I like that, I wanna be empowered. You can get supported, okay. You can get ahead, get connected. Okay, so let's, we're gonna dive into it. Get savings, okay. So if I pay seven, 750 bucks, I wanna get some savings. Get noticed and get involved, okay. So let's do that. Let's get empowered. Logo trademark. Got it. Code of ethics. We talked about that. Consumer advertising campaign that the that's who we are. Okay, so they must be doing a national campaign, right? So your dues on the national level go towards national campaigns to build up the brand. Okay, maybe I'll do another video on then why don't we have the realtor website? Realtor.com. Why isn't that owned by NAR? But that's a whole nother subject. Maybe we'll dive into that another time. So they do national campaigns, okay? Um, C2EX Developments, okay? Finance, Center of Realtor Finance Wellness. Okay, don't know what that means, okay? Um, RPAC, that's the lobbying. That's the political action committee. That's a good thing. You can actually donate more to that. So I think that's one of those options where I don't know if your dues go towards the RPAC, but you can donate more, okay? But if I'm a struggling agent, this is a tough one. This is a really tough one. Get connected. Um, the data educational tools. You know, I think that's where, I think that's where the benefit is. You know, if I was gonna say there's a major benefit is getting involved in your realtor community and getting to know the people in there and asking them questions, asking them for help, asking for mentorship, asking them how to handle certain situations, right? It's also taking some of their educational classes. But know this about the education. None of the, very little of the education is gonna teach you how to sell homes. So the art and the science and the business side of selling, you need to learn on your own. So go to Amazon, buy the books. You, you know how many books you can get at Amazon for $750? $750? 
I can give you a recommendation of my top 10 that's probably only gonna cost you 150 bucks, that's gonna make you millions, right? But you also have to back it up with expertise. See, in real estate, you need to differentiate yourself among the sea of agents. So if you're a member of the Realtor Association, there's 1.6 million of them, you need to figure out how do I stand out? So if I, if I made a pyramid, right? Not, say, not saying real estate's a pyramid at all, right? Say it's a pyramid. How do I get to the top? Like, how do I get to the top 20%? And then how do I get to the 20% of the 20%? Because that's where all the money's made. See, the top 20% make 80% of the commissions. How do you get there? Well, how do you stand out among the, among the other realtors and among the community that you serve? You have to differentiate yourself. You can differentiate yourself with authority, expertise. You can actually know what you're doing, right? So many realtors across the country have never read their agreement before. They've never actually done any additional education beyond the required courses. They're just hoping to get lucky. And so I'm all for the Realtor Association. I'm going to pay the dues, right? But I'm also always learning. I'm always sharpening my ax. I'm always trying to get better. And so if this is the forcing function to make you get educated, go all in. But it's the mindset you need to adopt. Because you paid that money, you better get some education out of it. And they're not going to they're not going to spoon feed you that education. You got to go out there and get it. If you don't, you're going to fail. People fail out. Dummies fail out of this industry all the time. And you know what? The Realtor Association knows there's just gonna be another realtor getting their license tomorrow. And they're not gonna send you, how can we help card when you can't pay your dues, right? There's, there's more than 1.6 million agents, realtors that have failed, and they don't get help. They don't get assistance. They don't get a, come on, I hope you can get back into the industry card. None of that. In fact, some realtors are like, I'm glad you're gone. In fact, there's lots of agents at the top. They can't wait for the bottom to fall out. I'm just telling you what they're talking about right now, behind your back. They're talking about you behind the back, saying, I hope you fail, right? Behind closed doors, they're saying, I hope you fail because they want per agent productivity to go up. They want more sales. They don't want more competition, right? But you can get into these areas and there's good people. There's good realtors. If you have any questions, you want some help, look, find me, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this if you like this content. We'll put out more of it and tell you the truth about real estate. And I'm not trying to be everyone's friend. I'm not trying to be right. I just want to give you my opinion. After selling 5,000 homes over the last 15 years, I made a lot of mistakes and I'm gonna make more. And I certainly didn't wanna pay that bill, but you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pay it. I'm gonna stay out as a realtor.